All right, guys, welcome back to another Master and Apprentice video and podcast. We got some pretty big news, some news that kind of felt like it was coming out sooner rather than later. This is an article coming off of the Bestman Bulletin regarding all of this news and updates. So without further ado, we'll get right into this article for you guys. Um, <clears throat> according to a new report from Tom Henderson via Insider Gaming, Respawn Entertainment, the developer behind Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and Star Wars Jedi Survivor, are developing a title that will see players take control of a Mandalorian bounty hunter character. According to the Insider Gamer report, players will embark on a quest to capture bounties for cash rewards. The currently untitled first-person shooter video game will have an emphasis on mobility and style according to tidbits from another reliable insider. Jeff Grubb, Insider Gaming, added that the game is very fast-paced and that the mobility that Grubb spoke of will come in a form of Mandalorian's jetpack, which will allow players to perform various maneuvers such as horizontal dashing, vertical jumping, boost sliding, and much more. The report goes on to say that players will be rewarded for their stylish play, with an example being that the player's health will be regenerated based on success of kills. As you expected, with a game featuring a Mandalorian character, the Bounty Hunter will have an array of gadgets and weapons that reportedly included items such as the grappling hook, a enemy tagging visor, wrist rockets, and many more. The game reportedly has a linear levels and will not be an open world title. <clears throat> Neither the Insider Gaming Report or the tidbits from Jeff Grubb mention the name of the Mandalorian Bounty Hunter players will control. It's known if it's game based on the hit Disney Plus The Mandalorian, meaning users will play as Din Djarin, or if it's a new and original character made for a game. I would expect it to be latter, but there has been no confirmation either way. I also believe the report from Insider Gaming as a couple months ago, I heard from a singular person that a game would feature users playing as a bounty hunter, which is what the Insider Gaming report claims. The Untitled Respawn game currently does not have a release date or a window, and the Insider Gaming report also did not share any details in that regard, though it seems at least a year or two away. So there you guys have it. Um, we kind of felt like we had... We're expecting this at some point. I mean, Mandalorian's, you know, by far Disney's biggest success, just anything, right? Uh, at least in the 21st century, it seems like, after the, the big Lucasfilm and Marvel purchase. <clears throat> and with kind of leaks along the way, we had seen, like, some sort of Mandalorian game kind of being leaked. We, we kind of just thought maybe it was fan-made, but I think a lot of us kind of at the back of our head thought, if this is fan made or it's not. Nonetheless, Disney and EA and Respawn, all of these people who make Star Wars games, they're seeing this and they're seeing the the fan response positive, right? So we thought this could be a possibility. I think a lot of us did at least. Um, this is big news. It's not a whole lot to go off of, right? We don't even know who's the main character, whether it be Din Djarin or just the Mandalorian bounty hunter. We don't know the time frame. We don't know the time release. We don't even know the title. Um, I think the only thing is I I would hope this kind of game would be open world. I mean, I'm an open world kind of guy. I, that's how I prefer a lot of my games. I know not everyone feels the same, but I think specifically in a Star Wars universe, those kind of open world games just have more success, right? That's part of the the fun nature of Star Wars, just how expansive and creative it can be, right? It's it's a really fun idea to have something like this. I mean, open world, of course, we've We've gotten that many times in other games like Jedi Fallen Order and Survivor. And it's great because you can just go straight on to the plot, do exactly what you want, say I've completed the game, and get, get the plot almost like a movie and be done with it. Or if you really want to, you want to go explore the planet of Dathomir, you can go explore the planet of Dathomir. And you can go look at every witch tunnel, cave, every little bit of it, and see the, the creative mind of this thing. I mean, when I first saw first-person shooter and I had slide canceling, I was like, oh, is this going to be a multiplayer? Clearly not, but this is it possibly could be co-op. It sounded like it could be kind of Battlefront 2 style when I see that um, jetpacks and stuff like that, where we see a whole bunch of characters against each other, but it clearly states that it's going to be more of a Mandalorian exclusive. So it's whether it's Din Djarin or another Mandalorian, it's clearly going to be one character, which leaves it a lot less open to that stuff like that. And with bounty and side drops, you would kind of assume it still has some open world presence. 
right? Some open world theming because that's just that just seems fitting with that kind of style of story and gaming. Who knows for sure? I'm very excited about this. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, if you guys are excited for it, don't care, indifferent, whatever it be. Um, you know, hopefully sooner rather than later. We 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 had an article come out six months ago from now. Um, that was pretty much saying they would like to release AAA games multiple times in a year, not once a year, not once every other year, but like three to six times a year. To kind of get that rolling, they got to start dropping these kind of titles quick and fast. Uh, and obviously, we want quality over quantity, but still, it would be nice to get another title dropping soon because Survivor, or not Survivor, but the next Jedi game isn't coming out anytime soon either. So. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments. With that, we hope you guys did enjoy this. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. If you guys are listening on podcasts, let us know as well. And don't forget to hit that follow and download. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.